But first, I'd like to start out with my old school Alvin Scott pencil. Got this thing from the flea market way back in the 90s. Been with me ever since. I keep it with a nice dull lid to it so I don't scratch up my paper. And I go ahead and I rough out what I already got in my head onto the paper. And once I get it roughed out, I go straight into finalizing right away. <clears throat> so I grab me a 6B or a 7B, a very nice, deep, dark, soft pencil that's great to be smudged around. Uh, and I lay down all my deepest darks. You get all the cracks and the crevices and every other place the sun don't shine. Get that all to find out before we start moving into them midtones and get the smudge. <laughs> After a good amount of time of me chopping down that light with my pencil savers here, uh, I go ahead and grab me a piece of rolled up paper they call a blending stick, and uh, I get to smudgy, smudgy, smudgy. Just move that graphite around. Them soft leads, they just lay that graphite on top, and you get to smooth it all out with them blending sticks. It makes these nice, subtle tones all up in there. And then, you go back and forth like a crazy man, coming with the darks again. I'll add some more darks. And you're still, you're trying to cut that light out even more and more. Uh, and, and the more you cut out, the better, because this is a white piece of paper. So you're trying to eat it all up like a black hole. Now, you use a plethora of pencils to do this with. I, am, on this piece, I'm using a 6B, which is my darkest dark. And then I'm using a 1B hit me in a, somewhere in the mid-tone and then I got me a nice hard HB that I just chopped that paper all to shreds. <laughs> This here dragon, her skin is uh, a, a texture is like similar to a, a, a vinyl or a leather, right? And uh, it, it's it's kind of like made the same way a bug's skin or exoskeleton is made. You know, it's it's kind of plasticky, whatnot. So when I render it, I'm gonna render it nice and smooth, but. She also has these grooves all over her, kind of like a, you got to think of like a vinyl record. Uh, that's, that's what her skin is kind of like. It's just kind of a lot more flexible. So I'm going to smooth it all out like a nice smooth plastic with my blending stick, and then I'm going to add the grooves later. But these blending sticks, I'm here to tell you, they, they can work some wonders now. They some magical tools. Once I discovered them, my, my whole drawing game changed, you know. I mean, they they really change everything. They they add some subtle stuff. I mean, they have the power to render realism. <laughs> flying all the way up into the upper atmosphere, spraying her electro pyre into some fission clouds to help protect it against magnetic storms and cosmic radiation and whatnot from the planet, doing her duty. And uh, all us artists like to give our superpowered things and beings these dynamic light sources. So 
I gave her the old triple light source. She's got the light coming from above, from whatever star there is up there above her. And uh, then there's some reflected light from below, up in the front, as you can see. And uh, then, of course, you've got that big, old, gigantic, Godzilla-sized beam. <laughs> Just to let you know, I'm about 90% self-taught. Got a little community college degree and where the paper is printed on. And I've got no set order operations when it comes to creating these values. I go from light to dark, to dark to light, till I get to the place where I think it's right. <laughs> Electropire is actually an electricity-based energy that produces millions and millions of little bolts of electricity. It's kind of like a sparkler, except each one of those sparks flying off of there is actually a little bolt of electricity with a flame attached to it. So when it lights up, it's like a welder and torch lighting up. And then it's a popping and a crackling and a chopping and a <laughs> So after I get done rendering these flames with my old smudge stick, I'll come in at the end with my white pen and uh, draw in a bunch of lightning bolts in there. Now, of course, if this is colored, you see it a lot more dynamically. The flames would be regular yellow and orange, and then uh, you have all these nice little light blue lightning bolts running all through there. It's a very dynamic looking lightning. You ain't never seen it before, and you ain't never gonna see it anywhere else besides my story, Munichus. Well, anyway, this, that's about it for this one. Y'all stick around, watch the rest of this video, watch me finish this piece, and uh, check out these dragons at the end, the dragons of Unicus. He's all drawn the same way, same size. So, till next time, see ya, partner. Uh -huh.